My name is Steve-O. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is also Jackass. All right, guys, we're back. It's been two weeks since my last video. That is my confession. But yeah, anyway, yeah, it's been two weeks since I skated. Um, it has stopped raining. I woke up this morning, it was dry enough. It's wet around, that's fine. I'm gonna skate anyway. My leg's been bugging me a little bit, like right here. But today it's felt fine. I'm out here doing some experimentation. I got a new, you know, I didn't get a new camera. I'm using a different camera again. See how this will work. And then uh, brought my flat bar. So maybe I can get things a little more interesting. But uh, you know, as usual, if you wanna see amazing, great skating, you go somewhere else. You go anywhere else. And if you wanna see relatable, middle-aged skating, this is your place. This is your place. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get warmed up and then uh, get into uh, meeting pro skaters. I had a couple different interactions with that. Not as many as I'd like. Half were good, half were bad. We'll get into that. I'm gonna get some warm up tricks going and then we'll get into the skater dudes. Try to land this first kickflip. Tell you about the first pro skaters that I met. Go for the kickflip first, I guess. That was terrible. But yeah, first first pro skaters I met were at the Department of Skateboarding. We're in Portland. You know, kickflip. Oh, a little better. Yeah, Portland, Oregon. It was a Nike demo, in like 2002. And the guys I remember being there was Richard Mulder, Mike York, and Donnie Barley. Sick, sick, sick. God. And they skated. The funny thing is I don't remember the skating that much. This park wasn't very good street-wise. It wasn't very good streetwise, let's put it that way. A lot of big tranny roll-ins. I don't even remember rails or it was a weird one. Ugh. One more kick. Go! Oh! After the demo, there was like this area outside the park that I don't know if you're supposed to go in or not. It was outside. Yeah, I was outside, and the uh, door was like cracked, and I don't know what everybody else was doing. Oh, but looked through the door, and there was a uh, whole Donnie Barley, Mike York, Richard Muller just chilling out there. I think Richard Muller was out there. I know Donnie Barley and Mike York were out there. Smoking a cigarette. Oh, I just went out there. There was no other kids out there. So, oh, oh I'm sorry if this bike is making me breathe hard because I'm breathing a little harder. Like a weird little kid that I was. Oh, okay. And just said, What's up? Started talking to him. And these guys were awesome. They were so nice. They signed the hat I got. They talked to me for about 10 minutes. Just just cool ass dudes. I was in awe because these were the first pro skaters I ever met. And it was a great experience. Richard Mulder, I remember him being nice too, but I don't think we had as much talking, but he signed my hat too. Some Nike hat they gave away there. Oh, it's not like I'm feeling right today. Can't consider the skater, especially, you know, Donnie Barley, legend. Mike York, I'm all about girl chocolate, especially at this time, so 
Mike York was awesome. That was my first experience. Get into the second one, one after I learned this knowledge flip. these clouds are starting to look. It's getting a little colder out here. It's starting to look like shit. No, I flip switch flip weren't the best, but hey, after two weeks, whatever. We're just out here having fun. I am gonna try to get a no slide here on this bad mom jammer right here. So I'm gonna knock that out and then uh, try to skate the rail before we get a couple more flip tricks. We'll try to skate the rail before it gets... So I'm gonna get one no slide. Slick right there. Yeah, boy. That's so fun. slappies but the board is fun. Now I'm gonna go set up the rail. Talk about this other skater in particular. I made about this rail. I'll put the little thing up here so you can see it. It's a sick ass rail. Go check it out. All right, John gets board slides. This is the second skater I met. So there was a demo. Well, I guess I didn't really meet him. I was gonna meet him. This was a demo, again, at the Department of Skateboarding. This time the skate park was remodeled. So it was very street orientated. I don't even remember which team was there. But there's this one skater. Who was a dick. He was a dick. And after that, I didn't even want to talk. So the story goes like this. This was probably 2005, 2004, somewhere around there. And at this time, he was probably like the biggest skater on the team, most well, well-known skater on the team. And he had a broken leg. So I was bummed out about that. I saw him on crutches, so I knew he wasn't gonna be skating. So, me and my dad were at this demo. Like... He got like right in front of us, right next to us. And I was like, oh shit dad, you know who that is? Of course he didn't know who it was. He liked watching skating, but he didn't know nothing about it. First of all, who do you think this skater might be? You have no idea because I didn't give you enough information because I didn't even know the team. The team it was at the demo. They had a broken leg. I'm like, hey dad, you know who this is? He's like, no. So then the skater proceeds to say, man, come on. I know I'm just doing board slides, but hey. The skater proceeds to say, Man, fuck these kids. Let's go get drunk. That could limit it down a little bit to some skaters. But, yeah, I said, fuck these kids. Go get drunk, let's go get drunk. And I was like, what? My dad looked at me and he's just like, you like this guy? I'm like, fuck, not anymore. No, I did not like him after that. This skater was Dustin Dolan. Which probably makes sense now. That's all that dude seems to care about. He's getting drunk. And that really, you know, I was like 17 at the time, maybe 16. Woo! 
and uh, yeah, that really sucked. That really sucked. But it is what it is. He'd rather get drunk than sit there and maybe sign some autographs, talk to some kids who make it so he can skateboard for a living, you know? And that was a big letdown. In fact, I need to get this very old But yeah, unfortunately, I haven't met very many woo, pro skaters in my life. I did get to go to the uh, a girl demo at the same skate park. I didn't get to meet them. There were so many kids there, but I did get my VHS copy of Yeah Ride signed by the whole team. It just got like passed down and passed back, which was kind of cool. But yeah, Justin Eldridge was there, Rick McCrank. I don't think Costin was there. A lot of the dudes. Eldridge killed it. It was sick. And they were like the team. I think that was might have been the high five of the I-5 tour. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah, unfortunately, Dustin Dolan, you know, they say, never meet your heroes. Well, Whee! it's not like he was my favorite skater anyway, but it's all good. So yeah, let me know if you guys have had good experiences, bad experiences, meeting pro skaters, I'd like to hear about it. That's why I'm sharing this with you because I'm not trying to, not trying to be like, put some heat on Dustin Dolan, but I don't know. Is he, yeah, sucks. That's the first like pop fakey big spin. <laughs> Who knows how long it's been. There's a syringe right behind the camera. That's cool. So yeah, those are my, you know, that's my experience with pro skaters. I said, let me know in the comments. What, have you met any? Were they good? Were they bad? Yeah, I'm gonna go check out this other little spot real quick. And if you guys wanna come along with that, that's cool. If you're bored by now, Sorry, I've been skating the same spots. It's just I, I, I get what I get when I get it. So this this is what it is. This is what it is for me. It's better than nothing. It's been two weeks. I'm taking what I can get. But yeah, I'm gonna go check out this other spot. I've been kind of eyeing up for curbs, so you can come along with me on that adventure, or not. You guys, big dip out. I'll see you next time. So yeah, we're here at the uh, other spot. I didn't even realize that there is a manual pad right here. So we got manuals and then we got some curbage. Some curbage. These are all pretty new curbs. Some curbage. It is kind of a busy, busy area. But we got this round curbage right here. Some round curbage. And more curbage over there. So there's some good curbs and a manual pad. So yeah. Not bad. Yeah, let me know if you guys like this kind of content. I'm just messing around with it, doing a little bit different. You know, I can't rely on my great skating to uh, to make videos, but you know, with the trying out this little external mic thing, you know, maybe some more cinematic shots. I don't know. Let me know what's the kind of stuff you guys like. But uh, yeah, the spot right here, maybe we can get something going here. Like I said it's a little busy here sometimes, but. Uh, I just like to get away from people, but I need to get out of my comfort zone on some things and this could be a good start. So yeah, well, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.